Having been introduced into service back in 2005, the F-22 Raptor is still today the world's number one fighter. The fifth generation F-22 has been referred to as the Sheepdog, the watcher in the night which keeps our adversaries at bay. Despite this, F-22 production was cut well short of the originally planned 700 plus airframes and the Air Force has stated that it wants to retire the Raptor fleet in the 2030s. However, recently, aircraft spotters and aviation enthusiasts have noticed some strange-looking F-22s flying around with what appear to be new mirror-like coatings and equipment on several Raptor airframes. Could the Raptor fleet be getting a new lease on life? Is there a Super Raptor in the works? Today, we will take a closer look at what's going on with the F-22 program, along with how the Raptor fleet could have an impact on 5th and 6th generation fighters. After several mirror-like coated F-22s were photographed flying around in the desert, speculation began to develop that the Raptor airframes may be or have already received significant upgrades. While this information is classified, Taking a look into the publicly available Pentagon's fiscal year 2023 budget request documents provides us with some details and clues as to what is going on with the Raptor fleet. Apparently, select F-22s are being used as test beds for technologies which are being developed for the Next Generation Air Dominance or NGAD program. Along with working on developing a 6th generation fighter, the NGAD program is actually the focal point of a system of systems that will secure U.S. tactical and strategic air dominance for decades to come. The main aircraft itself includes a modular, highly adaptable, and optionally manned platform that incorporates survivability, range, and next-generation sensor fusion capabilities. This fighter component of the NGAD program would likely be able to fly higher than 70,000 feet, faster than Mach 2, and have a range of 1500 nautical miles or more, and of course, be stealthy. As part of the next generation ecosystem of tactical aircraft, the NGAD initiative also includes companion unmanned attritable drones, along with advanced secure networking infrastructure to integrate them all together. There have been reports of an NGAD demonstrator flying for a couple of years now, although what exact capabilities the demonstrator has is still unknown and that's where the Raptor comes in. As part of the NGAD initiative, select F-22 Raptors are participating in an Advanced Technology Development or ATD program. In order to implement new advances as fast as possible, the program is using rapid acquisition build strategies such as Agile and Lean methodologies that allow the Raptor fleet to quickly develop, test, and more importantly field new software and hardware technologies as they become available. This essentially means that the F-22s are being used to test and optimize new technologies while serving as a conduit to perform technology transfers of these systems into the NGAD platform. Additionally, this testing is mutually beneficial. Discoveries and advances being made on the NGAD program are being implemented back into the Raptor fleet, meaning that the technology transfer is going both ways. This is a win-win situation, since the NGAD program gets a high-end testbed in the F-22 and the Raptors will adopt new technologies that will hopefully extend its service life. As mentioned previously, it would also appear that some of these modifications have already been seen by the public. Aircraft spotters have captured photos of at least two chrome-coated Raptors with a mirror-like finish taking off and landing at Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. The purpose of these coatings is thought to help further reduce the Raptor's infrared signature as well as shrink even further the jet's already incredibly small radar signature. Interestingly, F-117s and a Navy F-35 have also been seen with these mirror-like finishes, but the Raptor's coatings appear to be more operationally viable and intricate. Before we take a look at the Raptor's further upgrades, today's video is brought to you by Shaker & Spoon. Shaker & Spoon is a monthly cocktail service that delivers the craft cocktail experience right to your front door. Each month, you'll receive three original recipes and ingredients that are created by world-class bartenders, which you can't get anywhere else. So whether you're entertaining your friends or watching high-quality aviation videos on YouTube, 
Shaker and Spoon is going to provide you those hard-to-find ingredients to allow you to make that killer cocktail. You provide the liquor bottle and Shaker and Spoon provides the rest. And just like pilots use checklists to perform complex tasks, you'll get easy-to-follow instructions which will allow you to add new crafting techniques to your cocktail creation arsenal. I received the All Eyes on Rye box and proceeded to make the three different beverages. My personal favorite from this group, the Homestead Old Fashioned. A great take on a classic that includes black pepper and orange bitters along with winter spice syrup. A combination of flavor ordinance I would have never thought to have tried. My reaction upon tasting it for the first time? Damn, that's good. So if you're ready to take your mixology skills to the next level, click the link below and use the code PILOT or go to shakerandspoon.com pilot for $20 off your first box. Lock in this great deal and get some killer cocktail ingredients and recipes delivered to your door. Now back to the Raptor. Along with these experimental coatings, the Air Force's budget request for fiscal 2023 also mentions efforts to continue to mature the low drag pylon and tank capabilities as part of the F-22's risk reduction activities. Historically, the F-22 has had the option to equip two 600 gallon tanks to extend its range. However, outfitting these conventional drop tanks significantly increases the Raptor's radar cross-section or RCS. And although the tanks can be jettisoned, the underwing connection points and plumbing remain exposed and degrade the F-22's radar signature. The underdevelopment Low Observable Drop Tanks and Pylons, or LDTPs, would be useful in a potential engagement in the Pacific or South China Sea, as distances to and from encounter areas could be long and forward deployed friendly tankers would be vulnerable or exposed to near peer enemy fighters. Interestingly, the pylons themselves are said to be equipped with smart rack pneumatic technology that accurately controls the ejection performance along with smooth windswept surface for minimum drag without store. Along with the improved LDTPs, there have been reports of F-22s flying with low observable pods which could mean infrared search and track or IRST capabilities, advanced electronic warfare features, or some sort of long-range reconnaissance components. The IRST option is intriguing as it can provide Raptors with asymmetric sensing advantages while still maintaining its unmatched maneuverability. This would potentially augment the Raptors' first look, first shoot, and first kill capability. Furthermore, there's also mention of upgrading the Raptors' navigation systems radars, and software packages, likely incorporating features found on the F-35. It is not hard to see that by implementing all these upgrades, we could be looking at a Super Raptor flying in the sky soon, if not already. Still, there is a cost to all of this development. The already small Raptor fleet is aging and has some high-time airframes. Along with some of the earliest production F-22s, the Air Force plans on retiring some 33 F-22A airframes, leaving just over 150 operational examples of the Raptor in service. This is a far cry from the 700 plus examples the Air Force initially wanted when the F-22 was chosen to go into production. In fact, the newest Raptor rolled off the assembly line over 11 years ago in 2011 when production ended. As a result, the 33 decommissioned airframes would help keep the remaining fleet airworthy as they could be cannibalized for spare parts. However, there is an argument to be made that instead of retiring the 33 airframes, they should be brought up to the latest standards and retained, as the Raptor fleet is already small. However, estimates show that it would cost $1.8 billion and take 8 years to upgrade the older airframes. The Air Force has publicly stated that it plans for the F-22 to serve into the 2030s so it may not make sense to upgrade these older airframes, as they would likely only serve a few years in the upgraded configuration. Getting back to the NGAD Technology Transfer Initiative, are there any other USAF fighters that could benefit from this testing? Let's take a look at two other candidates, the F-35 Lightning and the F-15 Eagle II. Regarding the F-35, there doesn't appear to be any mention of using the Lightning as a testbed for the NGAD program. Why is this? Perhaps because the F-35 itself is in the middle of a large upgrade to the Block 4 standard. The Block 4 standard provides many upgrades including the ability to carry the B-61 Mod 12 nuclear gravity bomb, along with dual rail missile racks which will allow the F-35 to carry up to 6 medium range AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles internally. 
Further upgrades also include integration of nation-specific weapons such as the UK's Spear cruise missile and the Meteor long-range air-to-air missile. And finally, the Block 4 upgrade may include improved engines with more fuel efficiency for the F-35 fleet. With all of these planned upgrades and the current production run underway, it's not difficult to see why the F-35 isn't being used as a testbed for the NGAD program. With an operational life expected to run through the 2070s, the Lightning is effectively midway through its production run. This leaves the F-15 Eagle II as a potential testbed. And while the Eagles had an incredible run and the Eagle II helps extend this legendary aircraft's service life, the airframe likely is not a good candidate for a test airframe, especially when you have the F-22 Raptor fleet available, which is also a generation closer in technology to the NGAD fighter. Given all of this, clearly the Raptor is the best choice to test and improve new technologies for the NGAD fighter, and will directly benefit itself from its use as a testbed. The F-22 Raptor is an amazing aircraft. If you ever get to see an F-22 demo at an air show, I highly recommend it, as the jet does things that simply will blow your mind. Here is making the best even better, the Super Raptor. What do you think? With these upgrades, will the F-22 fleet get a new lease on life? What advantages do the new coatings provide? When will we see the NGAD fighter? Let me know in the comments below.